Well, it's here, the At Your Leisure season finale, and we're ending year 12 with some fun on the water. Follow the AYL family to one western lake where summer is still in full swing. We'll show you all the activities and amenities your family wants in a destination. Then Corey Toon previews an upcoming event where watermelon may be the star, but it's the adventure that really gets your blood pumping. Finally, Andy White finds out how the BLM is getting urban kids to get out into the wild. Is the AYL season finale starting now? Hi everybody, welcome to our season finale of season 12 of At Your Leisure. I am your host Chad Booth along with... Yeah, Rossi Booth. And on this side... Alicia Staten. And somewhere back there... Right here. Stephen Hewlin. <laughs> and Reese Stein. Darren Kinder. And his our, wife Jill. And Jill's right there and we of course have our representatives from the county seat, Derek Dowsett, our producer. Keith is our everything man that just makes everything happen at well, AYL. We are missing Corey. So we are here at East Canyon. This is the state park. This is a gem. It really is a very special place. And a lot of people don't know about it. There's a myriad of things to do. And we'll do our best to give you a sample of them during the show today. But we always like to start out as wrapping up a season and giving you a hint of something new that's going to be happening next season. And this year, our little tidbit lies right here. What's up, Alicia? <laughs> Well, well. Satan and I are expecting our second child. Yay! All right. Congratulations to thank you. Thank you. I'm not, I'm not near like this, but <laughs> you know. Well, you Living know. up to the reputation well, yeah, of our show. Happened? That's right. Family adventure. That's right, right. Our family adventure show. Now, so, of course, during the course of the next season, we expect to see a little change in you. <laughs> there will be Out and back, change. so to speak. Yes. <laughs> but. You'll get, be trooping right along with us anyway. That's right. I'm going to be adding to the At Your Leisure family. It's an excellent opportunity for us to like watch the progress. Yeah. We have got a lot to cover today. Right now, though, it's time for us to go to this week's story. That's right. We are going to go to Corey Toon with Melon Days in Emory County. <laughs> Thanks, Chad. It looks like you guys are having a great time at East Canyon, and I know you guys miss me. Now, I'm here to tell you that when you think of the word watermelon, the first thing that comes to mind probably isn't recreation. But in one small Utah town, this summer fruit right here means excitement and adventure. Nothing, and I mean nothing, says late summer like the deep red of a ripe watermelon, and nowhere says watermelon like the small town of Green River, Utah. Known for its melon production and fertile pastures, this desert oasis along I-70 sprung up on the banks of its namesake and has become a gateway to more than just fruit. Green River is a rural Utah, eastern Utah community. It's a community of about a, oh, a thousand people or so, located on the banks of the lovely Green River. It's a great place to get out and, and enjoy the outdoors. We've got the San Rafael Swell, we've got the Green River. This is the gateway to this area in here, and it's a great place to, to uh, use as a destination. It's got everything you want. Our new One of our new slogans is Destination Green River. We want people to make this a place of destination and just uh, instead of a stopover heading east or west or south or north since uh, we're right in the middle. If you look at a map, we're just about an hour away from all these great places that surround us. They can go to Nine Mile Canyon and Price, they can go to Goblin Valley, they can go to Lake Powell, they can go to Arches. This great uplift of rock creates the perfect environment for off-road vehicles, mountain bikes, and hikers. Trails from one end of the swell to the other lead explorers of all types to landscapes so strange, yet so beautiful, you can hardly believe that they're real. I love to head out in a 4x4 or just pick a trail and see where I end up. You never know what you're going to find here, but you don't have to go very far from Green River itself to find these places. Green River State Park is the entryway to the river itself and acts as a base camp for those looking to get wet and wild. The state park has got a 40-unit uh, campground. 36 of those have uh, electricity. We've got a nine-hole golf course that surrounds the park. We're right on the banks of the Green River, and it's just kind of a little oasis in the desert. It's a great place. 
From water to land, there isn't much missing from Green River. But how about we get back to the watermelons that we started with? If you need an excuse to come out and try all of the outdoor venues in central Utah, you're not going to find a better place than Melon Days. This is a great festival in the center of town with parades and live music, all focusing on the fun and homespun sights and sounds of rural America. And, of course, melons. A lot of melons. All types, you know, not just watermelon. They got seedlets and seeded watermelon. They have Israelis and cantaloupes. And they really are the best. I, I go to different places and they have watermelons. Not quite as crisp and juicy as here. You can eat it right down to the, right down to the rind. And did I mention that watermelon is free? And that right there is enough incentive for me. You may be on an ATV in the swell, a mountain bike hitting some slick rock, or a 4x4 running a forgotten trail. But as long as you have some watermelon nearby, you know you're in the right place. If you want to get away from it all, we're in the middle of uh, nowhere, you know. Our closest town is like 55 miles away. You want to get away from it and enjoy a little peace and quiet, come here. If they don't come in, they're missing it. They're missing a little, a, a great little wonderland, um, an oasis in the desert here in Green River State Park. We've got the uh, great uh, county to come to and visit. So, you know, you're missing it if you don't make it. All righty, there you have it. Melon Days is going on September 19th and 20th in Green River, Utah. There are plenty of hotels to stay in in town, or you can camp out at the state park, and I hope to see you all there. I'm Corey Toon, now back to East Canyon Resort and the At Your Leisure family. Well, thanks, Corey, for that story. As always, if you want more information, go to AYLTV.com. Become a fan on Facebook. We post extended editions of our stories there, so AYLTV.com. Now, I'm with my wife, and you're not the biggest fan of water, right? No, no. I do not like water. <laughs> or cold. Or cold. So we're going to do the easiest thing for her, which oh. is tubing. I uh, tubed 20 years ago. And I, probably so the same for me. So maybe I can So we're equal in this. All right. All right, you ready to go out there? No. All right, let's do it. And Steve's on front to a quick early lead. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. She's still in her That's tube. That's right, she's still in her tube. I think it's a great way to alleviate pent up marital hostility. <laughs> oh no, watch this. Oh, boom, and Steve is out of there again. Patience always pays off. You jumped too soon, Steve. Mr. Human, can you handle one more bout with your wife? Yeah, she's hunkered down she's for the long haul. Right those ways, look at that. Right look at that. Way, and slam and down he goes! Hard! We're gonna have to pry Becky's hands off of the handles though. <laughs> <laughs> she was hanging on for dear life. Well, you did awesome, right Thank folks? You. Yay! Yay. Good. I'm out of the water. Okay, look at these hands. Too. How red those are. She was not going to let go, no matter not what. Not going to let go. <laughs> All right, we have to take a commercial break. When we come back, we'll have the product review. You go through the day-to-day -day repeating what you did yesterday. Don't you wish you could access that piece of your life that's missing? September 12th through the 14th, you can find that missing piece at the We Rock Grand Nationals, the Three Peak Recreation Area, just 10 minutes from downtown Cedar City. Catch all the rock crawling action and meet the pro racers in person. Two-day passes are just $25, and kids under 8 get in free. We Rock National Championships, September 12th through the 14th, and visit cedarcityayl.com for all the adventure you can experience in scenic southern Utah. It's time to go on a treasure hunt with Ray City RV and at your leisure at the third annual Right Away with Ray RV Getaway in Marysville, Utah. Join us September 19th and 20th for a trip into history and beauty. September 20th, you'll be heading out on an OHV trip into the Fish Lake National Forest for a scavenger hunt to win huge prizes, and the ride is free. Sign up at AYLTV.com for our ice cream social and Dutch oven dinner. It's the Ray City RV at your leisure Right Away with Ray off-road event September 19th and 20th in Marysville, Utah. There aren't a lot of places in this world where you can feel truly free and wild, where the horizon invites you to set off on adventure. In Tooele County, you'll find just that. Explore the Benson Grist Mill and step back in time. Find yourself on a trek through our canyons.
Tooele County. Experience endless horizons. Yeah, we got some dogs going here, got some burgers. Hi, welcome back. I'm Reese Stein with Alicia, and boy, we're here cooking up some food for the whole At Your Leisure gang at East Canyon State Park. What a great place, just 40 minutes from the Wasatch Front. Isn't this fun? Absolutely beautiful, and we are having a good time with our At Your Leisure family out here. We're very excited to celebrate our how many seasons, Reese? Let's see, this is, we're wrapping up the 12th season this week. What? And uh, golly, how many seasons have you been on the show? It's five. been You've been here five, and, and I've got one up on you. This is ending my sixth season, and what a great year I've had this year. We've taken you to the maritime provinces of eastern Canada, all the way to the island of Borneo in Asia. Here in Utah, we've gone to the highest point on the Great Salt Lake, Furry Peak on Antelope Island, down to the canyons of the Escalante. Just some fantastic trips, and we've got more planned for this year. Holy cow, Reese has quite the resume. And uh, um, I know Darren Kinder is super jealous of that, but he has some stuff to tell you about his product review. Well, thanks, guys. We have a really neat product review today, and it's the Polaris 900. And this is the new 900, so there are a few things they changed about it. Basically, Polaris is getting rid of the 800s, and all the machines are going to be either the 570, the 900, or the 1000. <laughs> Now this is a 60 inch wide, but it also comes in a 55 and a 50 inch trail version of the 900. They call it the base model, but look at it. I mean, it's gorgeous, white plastics. You've got solid doors on them. These are super strong. You can put all your weight on them, but they you can get as an option is a little fill-in piece right here that goes on the bottom of the door. And I really recommend that. That keeps the mud from flinging up into your machine. They've done a few other changes inside here for 2015. They've added a, an access panel here that you can check your oil, change your filter. It's a lot easier to get to than it used to be. Put a large jockey box here. The glove box actually has a turnstile knob on it now, so it locks in place a lot better. And the other thing they've added is a safety feature, and that is if you're not wearing your seatbelt, don't have it locked in, it limits the RPM for the machine. Now up here in the front, you'll see we've got the Fox Podium shocks, fully adjustable, A-arm suspension, you know, everything you want. It gives you a great ride, but you can also set it up if you want to do some rock crawling or you want to do some desert racing. The machine is really designed to do either one. You'll also notice that you have these wide fender flares on the machine, and this is really, you know, because this is a Razor S model, so it's a 60-inch wide. If you get the 50-inch wide, it won't have these wider fender flares. Here in the back, it still has the Fox Podium shocks back here, but it's a dual spring system, so the, the first spring kind of gives you your ride, makes it a softer ride, and then the bigger spring is for like when you're hitting those big jumps or doing some rock crawl and stuff like that. So you, again, you can really dial in the suspension on it. Now up here, it has a large cargo area. You have your air intakes on each side, one for your engine and one for your belt, to keep everything cool and clean. And then you take this panel out, and you can see it's very accessible to get to anything on the motor. You have your air filter right here, your spark plugs, you gotta put some oil in it. It's very simple and easy to get to without tearing the whole machine apart. Well, if you'd like to check out one of these Polaris 900s, get into your local Polaris deal. I'm sure they'll be glad to show you all the cool features. I'm Darren Kinder, we'll see you next time. Twist the throttle for one of the last motorcycle rides of the 2014 season. Join Stebbins Recreation and Yamaha for the 5th Annual Red, White and Road Motorcycle Event, September 26th and 27th. Experience Highway 12 in the majesty of Central Utah with the masters of street biking. Register now at AYLTV.com for $40 and receive an event t-shirt, lunch, dinner and a chance to win huge prizes. It's the 5th Annual Stebbins Recreation and Yamaha Red, White and Road Event, September 26th and 27th in Torrey. Twist the throttle. Carbon County is typically known for its industry and coal production. But did you know, Utah's castle country has something for everyone. Visit the Carbon County Fairgrounds for exciting activities and events year long. The Carbon County Event Center is a state-of-the-art convention center for conferences, meetings, trade shows, and more. 
Fly your RC plane or helicopter at the Model Airport. Three large arenas and four ball fields invite competitions and events of all kinds. Visit castlecountry.com for more info. Parents, let me tell you a little secret. Your kids do not want to go boating with the neighbors or with friends. They want you to take them boating. They want to build lifelong memories with you. Take them fishing, skiing, tubing, wakeboarding. Take them out boating. Executive Boat and Yacht, 3733 South Main, executiveyacht.com. There's no need to travel far to find that perfect family adventure. Welcome to Utah's Nebo Loop Scenic Byway, 38 miles of winding highway through the southern end of the Wasatch Mountains. Join us in Juad County. It'll change your family forever. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're having our season finale. And of course, you've been getting glimpses of East Canyon State Park, but to get the full picture, we better talk to the boss. <laughs> Ken Cummings, how are you today? Good, I'm very fine. Excellent. Uh, tell me a little bit about some of the different things that people can enjoy up at East Canyon. Well, of course, our camping. You know, we have great campgrounds. Um, we've just been renovated and we have new facilities there. We have our cabins and yurts that are pretty new to East Canyon as well. We have a concessionaire at our park uh, called Club Rec. That's RE. Yeah, REC. Not WREC. Nope. Right, right. <laughs> and so they offer everything from kayaks and canoes and paddle boards all the way up to motorboats that you can ski behind and fishing boats. So they have a lot of things that you can rent and have a good time with. Are the facilities open year round? Yes, they are. We have our camping facilities year round that you can come up to. Unfortunately, in the winter, we have to winterize the water so the water gets shut off, but you can still camp there. And our yurts and our cabins are open year round as well. How is the lake faring? Uh, you know, we every day on the news, it's like, well, there's no water here. We're in the worst drought in 100 years, and people are afraid to go boating. What's what's the end of the season like at East Canyon? We have plenty of boatable water. We have plenty of boat ramp. So even though it looks low, it's still a lot of surface acres that you can ski on, fish on, you know, <laughs> water ski on, so there's a lot of activity still to be had at East Canyon. We aren't as low this year as we were last year at this time, so we are a little bit higher than we were last year, which is good news. And with all the rain we've been getting, hopefully we'll have a good wet season ahead of us, and that's right. what we need. Well, that's, that's very true. Listen, thank you so much for sure. your time. Right now we're going to turn our attention to, well, I would say it's called Outdoor Recreationist Etiquette. And there are a lot of people that have a great interest in it, some of them the agencies like State Parks and the BLM, and they figured, well, the best way to let people know is to hold an event and promote it. The natural open spaces of the world, places of beauty and tranquility, the urban landscapes of our modern era, areas of sound and fury. These two opposing environments have long been at odds with one ecologically diverse and the other completely built and manufactured. Sometimes the two support each other, though, with the urban playing host to an event meant to get the next generation out to explore the natural. Such is the case today, as kids who may have never left the city get the chance to learn how to safely explore and respect the public lands of the West and get outdoors. Today, we are kicking off the History, Heritage, and Geology series in partnership with Discovery Gateway Children's Museum, Tread Lightly, State Parks, and others. And the BLM is so excited to be partnering with these guys to teach uh, kids about safety, about how to have fun outdoors, and where they can go play in Utah's great big backyard. And while talking about and encouraging families to get outdoors, we want to make sure that they understand that to get outdoors and enjoy it responsibly, to be safe. Much of the event focuses on off-highway vehicles and trail etiquette. In places like Salt Lake City and Denver, where the urban world butts right against the open ranges and trail systems of the West, OHV use is a preferred way to get out and explore for an afternoon. Kids are often introduced to these sports without really knowing what to do or how to properly ride. Get Outside is here to change that. A lot of kids think it's easy to operate uh, ATVs and motorcycles because they see it on TV and it looks easy, but it's really not. There's really a component of safety. You have to train yourself and you have to school yourself to be able to operate these vehicles safely. And you also have to know which routes to be on so that you can uh, recreate safely. You know, these kids, uh, we want to teach them, and the parents, of course. The parents need to hear what kind of um, places they can ride, appropriate use of the vehicle, appropriate helmets, you know, safety related issues, just responsible riding. Where to ride, the train, and responsible as far as taking care of your, your health. The training goes so far as to having kids on a simulator that moves in all directions, giving these future riders a chance to learn how to properly balance and control a quad. Every aspect of the Get Outside event is meant to educate and entertain. 
But the real focus is showing these urban youth the possibilities that exist just beyond the city limits. The western U.S. is a world of mountains and trails. If all these kids ever see are the city streets through a front window, they'll have missed what it means to actually live in this part of the country. I think a lot of kids, especially urban youth, are not aware of what's in their big backyard. They don't know where they can go hiking or camping or any of that fun stuff. And moreover, a lot of them have never done it before. So we want to show them where they can go, how much fun it can be, and that they can go with their whole family. One of our greatest assets here in the state of Utah is public lands. And uh, what a better place to go out and have fun. We need to get kids away from computer games and more out doing things outdoors, like we did when I was a kid. We were just all the time. And I think there's just too many kids that just sit around and screw around with TVs. And we'd like to see them get out on public lands and enjoy life. The urban world is definitely different than the open spaces of nature. Getting kids out of one and into the other can help them gain a little perspective and maybe change how they perceive everything in life. From the trailhead, I'm Andy White. Thank you, Rocky Mountain ATV MC, for that great trailhead adventure. It's a great place to go get all your UTV, ATV, motorcycle, street bike, you name it. Great place to go get all the accessories. All kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. Now we're going to try to go surfing. We've done this a few times before, and Darren's a little better than I am. Well, I, I wouldn't go that at all, but yeah. you know, surfing at 5,600 feet is, uh, is a whole different than doing it in the ocean. Uh, yeah, and in the ocean, I'm really bad. Yeah. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't get rolled up as much. Uh, no, so that's true. Nice clean water to land in. And, and, and no uh, sharks. Yeah, 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 and no canal alligators. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see how this goes and uh, see you. Yeah. You get to be first. It's oh, nice I and cold. Okay. Ladies first, Ladies always. First. Okay, we'll see how this goes. You can let go of the rope now. <laughs> She's up. She had fun. That's all it down. But we got to work on her style. Anytime the camera's on, you gotta show up, right? Well, Darren, I think you finally found something that you can beat me at. Well, I don't know if beat you at, but I had a great time. But now <laughs> we gotta go to commercial break. It's gonna be fine, dear. You're doing great. Just breathe, deep breathing. Some quick breaths, quick breaths, that'll help. Honey, everything's gonna be okay. Don't worry, the doctor's gonna be here and just see. Triple S Polaris, how can I help? Who are you? Wait a minute, you're not the doctor. How are you gonna help? Where is the doctor? Well, you know the Triple S slogan, service to the power of three. We take that very seriously. Now, let's get this birth going. If you want service that really goes above and beyond, you want Triple S Polaris, service to the power of three. I grew up in the Una Basin, and I think that it's a good place to raise a family. My wife and I moved away for a short time, and we ended up moving back to Vernal, and, and we've been very happy. Our kids have done well here. Uh, it's a small enough community that you get to know a lot of people, but yet it's big enough that you can kind of get lost if you want to. So why don't you come out and just give Vernal a try? It's a great place to live. There's a new class of hardest working, smoothest riding. It's got the most torque, the smoothest suspension, the best storage, class leading comfort, and a revolutionary collection of versatile accessories. Introducing the all new 60 horsepower Ranger XP900. A whole new class of hardest working, smoothest riding. Welcome back to At Your Leisure at East Canyon State Park for the season finale of season 12. It has been quite a fun day. It's been a heck of a season. Yes, uh, it is. That's, Talk that's, about Jay, what a great what? season. Yeah. That's true. What did we accomplish today? Today, well, we went, we went tubing. Mm -hmm. We got yeah. her out of the tube, which was a big deal for it her. It was a very big deal. Which she'll be doing all the way extreme things from now on because <laughs> I'm a little. You're, uh, you're going to be out, I'm out, of out of commission. Yeah, you're, out of, you're out of commission, Mama. <laughs> and then Darren finally beat Jill in something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. They, he spent a whole half hour trying to do that just a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> that's true. And of course, that points out the water part of this gem. But Reese, there's a lot more to this, isn't you there? You know, these state parks are just fantastic. The 
beautiful campground, the way it's filled in. And what my wife and I like best about state park campgrounds is they have heated showers. Oh. But this beautiful day use area that we've taken advantage of today, uh, this park has concession rentals for kayaks and boats and just a lot of things to do. You've tried out the yurts, so you yeah. know what, what fun they are. Year round. Just, uh, just, yeah, they're year so round. cozy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and they're even more fun in the winter, I think, I when, when yeah. it's cold up here and you can do the snowshoe. And it's right. one of the great fishing lakes in the state. And we're 40 minutes from the Wasatch Front. It's just a fantastic place. Amazing. Well, we have a lot of fantastic things ahead. So let's get to our calendar of events. First thing on the agenda, September 15th through the 20th, is the Richfield ATV Jamboree, the Rocky Mountain ATV Jamboree. It's the granddaddy of them all. And uh, there's still trails and trips available. So you go to ATVJam.com. You can sign up for it right now. Yeah, Chad, we'd also like to remind everyone to sign up for our Erie Canal Houseboat Vacation. This is like RVing on the water, and it's just amazing. We talked about it last week. Sign up on Facebook and get ready to take your family on one of the most unique trips we've ever given away. Also, September 20th, for you motorcycle fiends out there, we have Truck Pack Road Rally to support Utah truckers. This is going to be a fun event. It's on Saturday. You can find out more at utahtrucking.com. And we also have another fun event. Well, two of them. One of them is Ride Away with Ray on September 19th and 20th. We are going to be out ATVing and RVing at Lizzie and Charlie's RV camp. Beautiful, beautiful area in Marysvale, Utah. So if you got an ATV, come on out and RV. That'd be even better. But if you don't, they have cabins. And our next event is Red, White and Road. It's one of my favorite events. It's a motorcycle ride down in Torrey, Utah. We're going to go to Kodachrome Basin. We're going to ride all day. We're going to be down there with Stedman's just having a great time. And you can go to our website, AYLTV.com, and sign up for the Red, White, and Road or Ride Away with Ray right there on the website. And you can check out a lot of other things on our calendar of events. So it's a great place to see what's coming up. That's got to be one of your favorite events that we sponsor during the Anytime year. Anytime I'm on a motorcycle, I'm happy. Yeah, you can't beat that road, though. Nope, nope. Well, listen, this is the end of our season, and it's the end of the show. And it's been just a ducky season. Thank you all. And it's been ducky because of you, the audience, our faithful fans who tune in every single week, and we appreciate that. It's also ducky because of our wide arrays of sponsors from counties to retail dealers who support our show and have for years. Make a point to stop by and tell them specifically thank you. It makes a big difference in their decision to continue to support us. And it keeps us on the air. That's right. And <laughs> we, we also would be remiss if I didn't personally thank all of you who bring the AYL family to life and deliver it to our viewers every week. You guys are the greatest bunch, and I appreciate it. Aww, thank you, Chad. Thank you. Thank you. We'll keep you, we'll keep you around. Well, we're about done for the, uh, for the evening. The duck is saying it's time to set sail, so between now and the next time we all get together, make sure that you get out with your family and your friends at, at your, your leisure. leisure. We'll see you later. Three, two, one. <laughs> well, I just didn't want you looking down between your legs when we started. Three, that two, snake I saw down there. two. That's that's just that's just ducky. This is what happens when you put twenty extroverts in close proximity. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chad Booth from At Your Leisure. I hope you just enjoyed the YouTube video that you just watched. Now. Remember, we come up with new videos like this every single week, so you might want to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a single story that we have out. Now, you can also share us with all of your friends on social media. Here's how to do it right here, and that way they can have fun too. If you want detailed information, we of course have our website, AYLTV.com, and from there you can find out which television stations we broadcast on so you never have to spend a day without your fix of family-oriented outdoor recreation adventure. Plus, don't forget we have really cool contests.